So there's an interesting legend about it that after it was built, the Tsar of Russia, Ivan the Terrible, thought it was so beautiful that he blinded the architects so they would never be able to make anything so beautiful ever again. For the project, we had to do a model and write a paper, and in the paper, um, our teachers taught us how to do good MLA citing and write a good research paper, and I think that it really prepares us for high school, and I had a lot of fun. I read a lot of books on the Louvre. I called my grandma and asked her about interesting facts on the Louvre because she lived in France, so did my mother. I also went online to research a few things. But now there's only like 60 or so, because a lot of them have gotten destroyed by weather and stuff. really done, like how they were building so tall, like as a freestanding structure by itself, and I thought it was very interesting. And I think this entire jam term is amazing. Kobe learned so much. All the kids were so informative. They all made eye contact. They all knew a lot about their, their buildings. And then have the opportunity to create their own designs. We talked a lot about what makes a sacred space. Is it the architecture? Is it the people that imbue it with a certain sense of holiness? Or is it the history? And then the students wrote reflections, so it was just one more wonderful example of how we uh, integrate um, the general studies and Jewish studies curriculum. One of the most important opportunities we can give them is to build their research and writing skills. Jan Term accomplished all that, as well as built their time management skills, their organization, their creativity, and their presentation skills. They were extremely poised and articulate and really proud of the work that they did. And this is the kind of integrated project, cross-curricular project, that really allows us to um, access a lot of different knowledge points. For ceases to amaze me how Kalman builds self-confidence in our kids every day.